In this video, we will learn about list in R programming language. A list can have any number of values belonging to different data types. A list can contain number, vector or even a list inside itself. A list is created using the list function. The syntax to create a list is, first we write the name of the list followed by the leftward assignment operator that is a smaller than symbol followed by a hyphen followed by the list function and inside the function brackets we write the values that we want our list to have. Now we'll see how to create and manipulate list in our programming language. To create a list first of all we need to write the name of the list followed by the assignment operator followed by the list function and inside this we'll give all the values that we want our list to have. A list can have any kind of value as we have discussed previously. The first element in this list is a string, second is also a string, third is a vector, fourth is a boolean and fifth and sixth are decimal values. Now we'll try to create this list and print the elements of this list. These are the elements in our list. To access the first element of this list, first we'll print this. What we have done here is we have written the name of the list followed by the position of the element that we want to print. We wanted to print the first element so we have written 1 inside the subscript. To access the third element similarly we will run this line and this will give the third element. The third element is a vector so these are the values inside the vector 21, 32 and 11. As you can cross check from here 21, 32 and 11 this is a vector that is printed on the third position. Now we'll try to give names to the element in this list. To name the elements, first we need to write names. Names is a keyword followed by inside the brackets we'll write the name of the list that we want to have some names. After that we will describe a vector with the names. These are the names that we want to give to elements in our list. We'll run this line. After that, we'll try to add an element at some position in this list. So, we'll add an element at fourth position by name of the list followed by the position of element and followed by the value that we want our element to have. Now, we'll assign the value and we'll print it. After this, we'll try to remove an element from this list. This can be done by using the null operator. For this, we'll write the list name followed by the position from where we want to remove some element followed by assignment operator and followed by a null keyword. We'll run this line and the value null has been assigned to the fourth element. Now we'll try to print the fourth element. So from this list, this was the fourth element and now this has been removed. So this should be the fourth element now. Now we'll try to print this. This will print. The previous fifth value is now the fourth value. So this will be printed. After this, now we'll try to update the value of third element in the list. For this, we'll run this line. And now we'll print the third element. So the value inside the third element is updated element. That is, we have assigned in the previous line only. This is all we will do with list. Thank you.